right, let's get to your phone calls. Let's go to Keith in Detroit. Hi, Keith. Hey, what's going on? How you doing, Keith? Keith? Yeah, so I'm all right. So I, I've been listening to y'all for years and everything like that. And with this Jeffrey Okuda situation, I've been trying to figure out how do you guys, um, like your call screener, not the station, Doug and Gator, figure out, because it'd be you two, for the most part, who define who's a bust and who's good or not. So speaking on Jeffrey Okuda, I'm perplexed as to how y'all sitting here insinuate almost that basically he's a bust. Y'all kind of going around the bus trying to say, you know, he's a third pick. He should be doing this and doing that. But the same energy that y'all spending on Okuda is, is eerily like, absent when y'all was making every excuse under the sun for like when Stafford was here like each position in football is predicated on the other position doing something that's what I love about football as a player I sat here and said okay um the cornerback in this case needs the defensive line to get pressure to stop because he can't cover a receiver all day six seven eight seconds he can't do that but it's like y'all are saying that he has to be able to do these things because he was picked third. But when it came to, like, Stafford, it was like, well, he doesn't have a line or he doesn't have a run game or he doesn't have this. He, and your call screener said itself, it wasn't until, like, the last two years that after 12 years y'all started to say, all right, maybe Stafford ain't what we thought he was. But y'all so quick to jump to. Okay, well, Keith, uh, let me just. Oh, cool is not this. Right, so right, now we I'm got just, you. We got you. All right, so here's the deal. You want to handle this one? Sure. I was a fan of the pick. I like the pick. Last year, his struggles were well documented. But the point of this conversation today, Keith, is to bring up two things. The most important one is that it is too early. It's too early. Now, can we be disappointed in the first year and that preseason game? Sure. Sure. We can be disappointed in it. But it's too early to deem him a bust. Now, you said at some point you wanted... What would define a bust? Well, hang it. First of all, he said you and I, okay? Yes. So we can speak for ourselves because yep. he's yep. putting in us. Yep. Never have I ever and never have you ever said Jeff Okuda's a bust. I've never said that. And neither never. Have, neither is Gator. Keith, Keith, neither one of us y'all has don't, ever said y'all don't, y'all don't say it straight out. Y'all beat around the bush and leave They're it. We're not beating around the bush. I, I, I got to tell I'm you, Keith, reading if, reading if, if there the are two guys I'm, on the on the station that – when we, we speak for ourselves Be, on, on this show. It's like the left. Hold like on, Keith, Keith. Keith. During this show, we talk a lot about Jeffrey Okuda, and we have we we keep holding out hope for him. Period. Yeah. I mean, it's There's way no too early. The bush. There's I, no beating around the bush. We're not we're not alluding to anything other than hey, I and, and me specifically. I think this guy was thrown in a bad situation with bad coaching staff. I wouldn't have taken him third overall, but that's beside from the point. Doug would have taken him third overall. He was happy with it, and I think Doug has defended him to the same point. Now, you want to make the Stafford comparisons, um, you know, that's a whole different ball game. But as far as Akuta's concerned and how we have treated him on this show, and we've been nothing but fair. And some people would say probably overly fair. Mm-hmm. Does, that, does that help? Yeah, look. Yeah, no, it doesn't help because what you're saying is not true. Like you, I'm asking you a question. Now you're calling us liars about it. Okay. So literally you, right before yeah, the break, Gator, you said it was too early to, to call hold, the now, Wait a minute. I just let you speak. You ain't going to let me say nothing. You I'm not sure. Hold, now, I'm not sure, Keith. You I'm not sure. Look, like how you can. Oh, so you're going to cut through me talking. I might because you're not listening to us. You're clearly not oh, listening. I am listening. No, I'm you're listening not. to you. You're calling us liars, Keith. You're calling us liars. I never said that. I never said that. Oh, you're beating around the bush. Uh, exactly. So yeah. now I did that on purpose. So now you know what it means to beat around the bush. Yeah, yeah I, y'all lying. I went straight. Oh, so now up. he says now he does okay. say we're lying. All right, all right, all right. forget no. it. No, then we're not going to listen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even bother listening, Keith. I'll invite you to not listen if you think I, we're liars. I mean, I don't. That is the strangest take ever. Twisting what I don't even know how you can twist what we said into anything that comes close to saying that we've said Okuda's a bust. I have no idea how you can say that. I have not one clue. Now, clearly, he's got. He, he's. It's going to Stafford versus Akuda thing. That's his road that he wants to take it down. We're not going well, down look, that road. I, but I'll if you want to talk this. about Jeffrey Okuda, if in the next we're more few years to talk about Jeffrey Okuda. Jeffrey Okuda gets to the point where he's not elite, but he's one of the top ten to twelve at his position. Then we're going to have an interesting discussion because that's kind of what Stafford was, right? Yeah, he wasn't elite, but he was one of the top ten to twelve in the in the discussion. Right, uh, I'll even even I will say that's that's fair enough. Okay, if if Akuda gets to that point, 
then you know what he won't be? He won't be good enough for some people because of where he was drafted, but he will have turned himself into an asset to this football team, which is, which is what this conversation, I kind of wanted to reset the conversation about Akuda After Glenn's comments yesterday, Aaron Glenn. Aaron Glenn, the, the defense coordinator. I started thinking more, can he be a good player? 